I make my coaching decisions and grades up next. And I talk about punter Chris Jones going on IR soon after a core muscle surgery and a wide receiver that we picked up on the practice squad. Coming up next, VA Dallas Cowboy fan, bringing it to you. What up, Cowboys Nation and YouTubers? Is that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you? Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. I'm trying to make a march towards 1,000 subscribers so I can stream to you live off of any device I have in my house instead of hunting down a laptop every single time. But in today's news, uh, it looks like the Cowboys will have their punter, Chris Jones, uh, out for the foreseeable future. He is going to get a core muscle surgery done on himself. Uh, I knew it was coming because uh, over the past year and a half or so, he's managed to be worse every time he's kicked a punt. Oh, hold on. All right, had to pause there for a second with my son. Uh, the core muscle surgery, if it's the same problem that Sean Lee had earlier this season, then you might as well just say Chris Jones is done for the season. Uh, he's not coming back this year. Uh, I wouldn't say that's a shame because he was a detriment in field position. He was averaging like 30 yards a kick, if that. Uh, you could see in the Eagles game that his kicks were just getting worse and worse. And you could at, might as well just put out anybody to just kick a punt because his averaging has gone down the last couple of years. Um, he's 31. So his age is starting to become a detriment to him. Uh, his contract year is next year, uh, and he's getting paid $2.5 million. A $2.5 million cap hit for him, and his stats have been going down for years. Uh, they do gain $2 million back if they cut him. So you can think that the Cowboys will either bring in some uh, punting competition for the rest of this year, or they'll draft or undrafted free agents next year just to see what they got uh, with a full off season. Hopefully we can either move on from Chris Jones or he can be recovered from his surgery. We'll just have to find out next uh, off season. But in the meantime, we have a Hunter nice wander. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Six, five, two forty three. Uh, he start, he started three years at Northwestern, but he uh, actually played there all four years of his college career. Uh, at Northwestern, he had 230 punts, and he averaged 40 yards, 40 and a half yards, which is pretty darn good in today's NFL. Uh, we picked him up from after he was let go from the XFL, and, uh, you know, the XFL, the competition wasn't the best, so you were going to get a lot of punts going there. And in the XFL, he was the second best punter, averaging 44.6 yards a kick. And that was only in the five games. He only had 21 punts with two touchbacks and eight uh, punts downed inside the 20. That's pretty darn good averaging when uh, Chris Jones can't even get it past the opponent's 40 most of the time. Uh, and he's only costing the Cowboys $142,000 in base salary right now. So $2 million or $142,000. Uh, if, if Nice Wander does well, uh, they might consider bringing him back at a lower salary than Chris Jones. And we might be moving on from Chris Jones after all these years. I know we nicknamed him the Puntisher because... He laid some wicked hits on some guys over the years, but uh, his age of injuries are starting to become a factor. And in our game now, where field position means a lot, we're going to need every bit of that from our punters and kickers, and he's just not giving it to us anymore. So it's time to move on from him. Uh, side note, we also signed a wide receiver to the practice squad last week. A... Uh, Lacey, something Lacey. Uh, gosh, I can't remember his name right offhand. But uh, 
he's a uh, he's from DeSoto, Texas. Uh, he played uh, high school there and everything, and uh, he's back home basically. Uh, he actually sent out a tweet a couple weeks ago after he was waived by the Lions, uh, stating that uh, you know people were wondering if he's had to get his head right, he can just come on home and play with the Cowboys. And he tweeted out, "It's not that's not how the NFL works." And a couple weeks later, he signed to our practice squad, and boom, <laughs> that's how it works. So go figure. He's back home, and with our wide receiver room. Uh, he might have a shot to do something later in the season. Uh, I think him and only one other wide receiver are actually on the practice squad right now. Uh, all other wide receivers are active on game days. So you never know. He might play. So today, as we've been progressing through the week, I've been talking about the offense, the defense against the Eagles. And uh, today I wanted to talk about the coaching on uh, as a whole. The coaching unit, I have to give y'all a D. Uh, it'd have been better if the offense actually scored, but the defense kept y'all in that game. To be honest, it, it could have been a whole lot worse, and it could have been a whole lot better. But uh, going through it, head coach Mike McCarthy, he can only do but so much. Um, I should, I, I'm happy he showed passion on the BS referee calls that they. Recovered that kick or recovered that fumble and returned it for a touchdown. And he clearly was like, what game are y'all looking at? Look at the replay. The guy was clearly down and touched. But, you know, he can only do but so much being on the sidelines and trying to do his best. Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore. Uh, the Boise say trickery and all that work, but only so much. Then you got to stop when you see you're making negative yards. It. It's ridiculous to be running trick plays when you've been going steadily forward and then you run a fake double reverses and triple reverses that put you 11 yards back to start the play. That's not how you run a football team. That's not going to work in the NFL. Defenses can only be tricked but so many times and you just did it one too many times and you ruined us. It's like you were actively trying to screw us up when you did seven rushing plays Got down to the opponent's 31, and then you started calling trick plays for some reason and destroyed all momentum we had. Uh, that's a Keller Moore problem. Uh, I understand you had a rookie seventh-round draft pick as your quarterback, and he inexplicably threw for 40, 40 times, even though he got more yardage than Carson Wentz, but... It, he shouldn't have been doing all that work. You should have called more running plays. Your running backs were doing actual work, and you ran away from that game plan for some reason. Kellen Moore on him, I gave him a D. Uh, the trick plays was nice when it worked, but then when they didn't work, you had absolutely nothing. Defense, I'm not sure if it was the coaching or the players, but they came to play. That is a definitely bonus for Mike Nolan. Maybe they got it in a week. Maybe the players that were let go were the problem. Who knows? But it clicked for one game at least. Or Philadelphia is just really that bad, and I'm sure that's the case. But anyway, they showed up for a game, and I was happy to see that. So this week, Mike Nolan, you get a C average. If you could clean up some of the... Uh, more mental player mistakes, uh, I guess, look at film. Uh, you can definitely clean up a lot of the stuff that uh, went against our players, and we can do a whole lot better. So that's my grades for the coaches. Uh, management, ugh, I don't even talk about management anymore. I don't know if they have a clue what they're doing because sometimes it just seems like they don't. <sighs> It just makes no sense. But um, that's all I got for y'all today. If anything else happens, we'll get it to you. Y'all stay safe. Take care out there. Happy hump day. Safe Wednesday. And we'll see if anything else happens. We Dallas Cowboy fan.